Okay, so understanding the cascade. So there's a reason why CSS is called cascading style sheets, and that is because of how the browser renders the styles that apply to our elements. So let's take a look at an example. Over here then on our screen in our HTML file, we have three simple paragraph elements here with the words Sonic, Mario, and Zelda. Now, if we head on over to our style.css file, which is uh, linked to in our head here, we can style these elements by simply doing P, curly braces, and then color blue. So as you can see now, all these three elements have been colored blue. No surprises there. But what happens if we do another paragraph element style here, just underneath this one, and we change the color to red? What do you think will happen? Well, let's see. As you can see now, all our paragraph elements have been rendered as red. And that's because our style sheet is red from top to bottom. So it starts up here, it does all these styles, it comes across this one here and says, oh, okay, select all paragraph elements and color them blue. It then continues and finds another element style that says, select all paragraph elements, but this time color them red. So it actually overwrites the previous paragraph element style here. If you were to continue and have another one further down that said, select all paragraphs and color them green, then they would all be green, okay? So let's head on back over to our HTML file and start to understand what's going on here. So our HTML file is also read from top to bottom. So it starts up here, okay? It comes down, it sees here that we have this uh, style sheet here, and so it stops what it's doing on this HTML file. It heads on over to the style.css file and goes through the CSS file. Once it's finished, right here, it heads on back to the HTML file, and then it continues from here, continues down. So Keeping this in mind, what do you think will happen if we include some CSS styling in our head right here, which comes after this style sheet? Well, here we can just say, let's just say style, and in here, let's say paragraph, and this time let's change this to, uh, let's change it to green. And as you can see now, all our paragraph elements have been turned green. And that's because it starts up here, comes down, executes all the styles in the style.css file, Okay, comes back to the HTML file and continues, and then it comes across this here, which says, now take the paragraph elements and color them green. So now, both of these styles have been overridden. This one here, coloring the elements blue, and this one here, coloring the elements red. So as you can see, as you can start to see then, the way that elements are selected and styled heavily depends upon where they are in our document. For example, another way to actually change one of these would be actually to apply some inline styling right here because it's going to execute these styles and then it's going to continue down into the body section and then it's going to come across another style here. So for Sonic, let's just say style and let's say color. Let's go for Dodger blue. Okay, so as you can see then, Sonic has been turned into Dodger blue, but the rest haven't. That's because the rest are taking their styles from this style rule here. Okay guys, so I hope that makes sense to you. Hope you now understand how the cascade actually works. So remember, your elements will be styled depending upon where they appear in our file. Again, a nice simple way to understand this is just visualize going down this file here and then executing each style as it comes up. So as always guys, go ahead and practice this. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.